Hi everybody, it's Richard Love Brewing. I just wanted to welcome you to my brewing room at home. We've got some very exciting stuff to share with you today. So I'd like to just run through where we are with our new boiler. This is the boiler that is designed specifically for a uh, distillation of alcohol. So I'll just run through some of the features on this and then later on I'm going to do you another video on our new still. So please bear with me while we just go through all the various bits. It's a 25 litre boiler, well it's slightly over 25, but designed to hold 25 litres, minimum 10 litres in the boiler. Comes complete with a lid with a hole in it which will obviously take the, um, <coughs> take, uh, a, a, the distillation column. Also takes a bung and an airlock, so if we're using it as a fermenter, it will work for that purpose. Comes complete with a special um, stainless tap, which also has a thread on it, which allows you to put a cord um, out that uh, tube to it, which we sell separately on the website. We've got an on-off switch. It's powered, um, we did on the old boiler have two settings, a, 7, a 1750 and a 500, but now with this one we've got a power control unit which gives us even more flexibility and more design to, to work specifically with distillation. On the actual boiler itself you can see you've got two handles with special insulation on them so that you can move it when it's quite, uh, quite um, <coughs> hot. We've also got down the outside graduation of the, uh, of the volumes of the liquid. Lead that comes in and then we've got the control panel at the front of the machine. Now the feature with this is that we can boil with a full power ratio so we can get up to speed very very quickly on full power but the more important thing is once we've got up to full power and we want to reduce down for distillation or if we are brewing we can reduce the power that goes into the machine by anything we want. It's zero to 100. Temperature obviously zero to 100 as well. We've actually got to get over that. Um, there's, there's, um, the facility that I really like though is this power controller because when we're distilling, especially if we're using something like an alembic or if we're doing uh, botanicals or stuff like that, to be able to have the facility to reduce the power and reduce the strength or the power that is going up into the column <coughs> for the uh, distillation is absolutely essential to us. So we're absolutely delighted that we've got this new machine. Um, it's going to solve a lot of problems when it comes to the brewing uh, or distilling of alcohol. Really, really impressed with it. There are, for people who haven't got this particular facility, you can actually buy a, ca a power unit on the internet, something like that, which will also have the same facility, but that attaches as a separate plug and everything else. This is the first complete unit in the UK where we have this power facility. So yes, congratulations to all our designers uh, and our engineers who've come up with this as an option. And it's obviously given me the pleasure of being able to launch it. Very, very excited about the whole thing. So the boiler, as you can see, it will also, if we are going to use it for brewing beer, it will take the grain basket inside it. Uh, we can fit a coil inside as well, all available separately on the website. The boiler temperature will go from approximately 20 up to just over 100, as I said before. So if we want to use it as a straight fermenter, we've got the ability to control it. The temperature is controlled to plus or minus two, so obviously if we set it to 20, we're looking at between 18 and 22. So ideally for a fermentation, we're looking at somewhere in the region of 22 to 24. Um, so again, you've got the facility to be able to do that with this particular boiler. Use it as a, a, a fermenter where you can control the temperature. So all in all, a really, really good machine that gives you an incredible amount of flexibility. So. Have a, enjoy the video, have a look at some of the comments we put on the website as well, the sizes and everything else, the heights and what have you. Um, and then hopefully you will be able to purchase one from us. We've got them in stock now at Love Brewing and we're very excited about the whole thing. Thanks guys.